Excuse me. Hey, YouTube, what's going on? DeLorean Fan 81 back at you. Um, with a uh, subcontest winnings uh, and an entry for the next video. Go ahead and kill two birds with one stone here. For Mikey Man 510, the link will be below. Um, a while back, I uh, entered into his last subcontest. Um, he gave away three or four movies, I think it were. Um, you just had to tell which one you wanted and why you wanted a particular one and uh, I put in my video and here is what I won. Uh, one of my favorites, uh, the first one actually is one of my favorites of all time but uh, definitely the whole franchise itself is definitely one of my favorite. The Back to the Future Complete Trilogy DVD set uh, is what um, the one that I chose and uh, lo and behold uh, I won. So thank you Mikey for the quick shipping and uh, everything. You know. Uh, looks good and looks good here, and it's even got the uh, the uh, liner notes in it. So thank you very much, sir. It's uh, very kind of you to give that away. Uh, like I said, uh, Mikey Man 510 link will be below, and uh, go ahead and do the entry for his next contest. Um, if I am not allowed, so to speak, because I already won one, then just consider this a free plug. So. Um, I will put the link to the next contest uh, below. Go check it out, guys. They're all really simple. Uh, he's giving away two different lots of prizes. Uh, one is, um, I believe, about a half dozen HD DVDs. Uh, I don't have an HD DVD player, but I, uh, <laughs> I know someone on here who does. So um, if I win, um, uh, I guess their Christmas presents they can carry up. So uh, the next, uh, the other lot would be a three or four. I don't quite remember a lot of uh, like kind of McFarlane esque. Um, action figures from horror movies, um, Leatherface and uh, um, a couple others, so uh, go check it out for all the videos and all the prizes, and uh, here's what you have to do, first of all you have to uh, give um, what prize you'd like to be interviewed for, uh, as I kind of alluded to, I would like to be entered in for the movies, uh, and secondly, if you could, uh, if hopefully I'm phrasing this right, uh, if you could go or vacation somewhere and go there only once, where would you go? Uh, I thought about this long and hard, and uh, I think at some point I would give anything at least once to go to San Francisco. Uh, you know, the streetcars, the whole Haight-Ashbury, um, Alcatraz, and uh, the architecture of the city itself. Um, the weather, I've never seen California, I hear it's beautiful. Uh, interesting kind of a weird side note. I'm one of those people that kind of quote-unquote runs hot um, You know it could be 60 and cloudy. I walk around the block once and my shirt soaked to me I'm just one of those weirdos. So I hear the weather is nice and cool pretty year-round um, uh, Pretty much year-round excuse me. Um, I remember uh, quite clearly several years ago. There was a massive heat wave clear across the country and I um, uh, they were talking about in San Francisco, it was only like 90, and I guess even that for them was a thermometer buster, so it definitely sounds like my kind of place. So, pretty decent year-round. I've seen many movies and TV shows uh, um, around uh, filmed uh, there, so obviously quite well aware of how beautiful uh, it is uh, aesthetically as well as visually. So, um, and another side note, uh, one of my absolute favorite TV shows of all time, Nash Bridges, was filmed there, so it'd be kind of cool to... Um, Go and see a few uh, sites where they film that uh, with uh, Don Johnson and Cheech Marin, if anybody remembers that show, uh, for a couple of years, several years back. Nice to see some of those areas. So um, that is where I would like to go at some point in time, if only once. Um, uh, last, uh, third, uh, you need to give a overview or review, whatever have you, of uh, the most recent movie you saw. Go ahead and set that up for a background for this day. Oh, sweet. Uh, the last movie that I saw in the <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, the last movie that I saw in the theater, oh lord, a month and a half ago, give or take, um, was uh, Fast Five, uh, the last or the most recent of the Fast and the Furious uh, franchise. Uh, it was a really good movie. Uh, lots of action, as you can imagine, lots of action. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I still have yet to see, uh, I believe it was just called, the one before it was just called Fast and Furious, or Fast and the Furious, something like, I don't know, they kind of changed uh, the title of the first movie around. I had yet to see that one, um, I'll just go ahead and say this now, if I see the way you say it wrong or whatever, spoiler alert, um, uh, the uh, action was good, uh, there was a nice twist, uh, kind of two twists at the end, uh, one you kind of see, 
kind of coming if you're kind of perceptive to the things and how movies flow. Um, lots of action, lots of, you know, as you can imagine uh, with the franchise and the genre, um, car chases, lots of cool cars and customs and things of that nature. Uh, an interesting, uh, you can kind of see it from a mile away, but there's an interesting reason as to why they do what they do in this particular movie, uh, the reason they do it for the, um, for what they're trying to get and do. Uh, <clears throat> uh, make sure if you, uh, well I guess if you go see it or rent it either way, uh, make sure you watch towards clear past the credits or fast forward it past the credits, a nice little, I don't know, extra easter egg, whatever you call it, um, at the end there that, um, wraps things up, uh, and not only that, it sets, uh, up a possible... Uh, what would it be, fourth one, uh, minus Tokyo Drift in, in the uh, franchise, so, um, uh, without naming names, I guess, uh, like I said, spoiler alert, uh, possibly, uh, for those of you that have seen it or haven't seen it, um, I guess there was a certain character from the first one that was in the one before this one, uh, made to look or couldn't tell or didn't know one of those, however you want to phrase it, that they might be, have been dead or killed, uh, is seen alive in surveillance video and uh, pictures and stuff, so it sets it up uh, nicely for a next one, um, which will probably make a lot more sense if I actually go back and see the last one. But that's the one I saw, no real major critiques. Um, you know, if, like I said, if I'd seen the one before, maybe there would have been some loose ends that I didn't see or mention, or maybe, you know, would have noticed more if I'd seen the one before, but, um, to no avail on that one yet. But anyway, um, so, like I said, if you have a chance, uh, go see Fast Five. Uh, lots of great, great high-speed opening, and, uh, the whole just kind of just flows along. Uh, a pretty long one. It's about two and a half hours of memory serve, so, uh, hopefully you get a comfortable seat and plenty of popcorn for it, so... Um, so once again, thank you, Mikey Five Ten. Quick shipping, uh, great prize. I love this. Thank you very much. Been wanting this box set for um, a long time, and um, I got it free and free and clear. So thank you, sir. Um, links will be below uh, to his next contest as well as his channel. Uh, so guys, go sub. Uh, does a lot of things in the movies. Uh, picks up a ton of them, and uh, also. Um, uh, does, uh, uh, yeah, I really haven't seen any yet, but, uh, he does have a man cave that he's going to put, uh, some of his sports stuff and goes through his sports things, so go back a couple of videos and check that out, uh, for those of you that are into the sports side, and, uh, continue, thank you for guys who continue to be sub, and, uh, make sure you go sub to Monkey510, great guy, alright, thanks guys, have a good night.